how hot or cold is it in space? Well, you know, it depends on where you are. If you're on the, day, on the daylight side and the sun's shining on you, then it could be as hot as 200 degrees. And if you're on the back side of the, on the dark side, it could be minus 200 degrees. So there's a 400 degree swing in temperature. So it just depends on where you are. What were my first thoughts when I first saw the Earth from space? I was amazed. Um, I can even tell you where we were. We were over the Alps and we were heading southeast and I looked out the window at the eastern Mediterranean and had to ask one of my crewmates, what is that? It's beautiful. How long does it take to train to be an astronaut? Well, to tell you the truth, you're training to be an astronaut right now while you're in school. So I look back um, as to how I became an astronaut and I realized it started when I was in school and I became interested in math and science and one thing led to another. And lo and behold, one day I found out I was qualified to be an astronaut and was selected. My favorite thing about being in space, it's definitely looking back at this beautiful planet of ours. I never got tired of it. It's incredible. The colors are magnificent. The sights are unbelievable. I never got tired of it. It's my favorite thing. Do humans age slowly in space? Well, that's a tough one. And technically, yes, we do. But at the speeds that we travel, and the, at least that I traveled in the space shuttle, um, eight kilometers per second, that's not anywhere near the speed of light. You have to get up near the speed of light before it starts mattering. So um, technically, I might be a fraction of a millisecond younger now than I would have been. But I don't think you can measure that. What is the best technology to come out of the space program? I think it clearly has to be digital computers. Back in the Apollo era when we were trying to go to the moon, uh, analog computers were what were used at the time and they realized that to save weight and to shrink the computers, they needed a new technology and that technology is digital and we use it now everywhere from your cell phone to banking to uh, cameras, uh, so I think digital technology is the greatest spin-off from the space program. What do I think of space tourism? I think it's great for people to become, be able to be tourists. I think it's the way of the future, and if I'm able to, I'll become one, because I'd like to go back. <laughs> what inspired me to become an astronaut? When I was eight years old, I was watching on a black and white television as the first American astronaut was launched into space. And I thought, I um, wonder what that feels like to get in a rocket and leave the planet. Little did I know that many years later I'd have a chance to go do that. So I was clearly inspired by watching the very first um, launches into space. Did I ever see anything I couldn't explain while in space? Hmm. You know, I think I was able to explain everything, but I did see some really interesting things. Uh, for example, one time in particular, we were coming right down uh, Mexico, going from northwest to southeast, and I looked across the Gulf of Mexico over at Florida, and I actually watched a rocket launch from the Kennedy Space Center, and it come right up to our altitude and going away from us. So I, I could explain it, but it was really interesting to watch. Do you miss your family while you're in space? Yes, you do. Um, in fact, the hardest thing that you have to do as an astronaut is to say goodbye to your family when you're, when you're leaving. So at least that's what I found. It was the hardest thing for me to do. If there was only one thing I could take into space, what would it be? I'd take my family. How long does it take to get to the moon? Typically, it takes us about three days to get there. We could get there faster, but you don't want to be going too fast when you get there because you go shooting right past. So it takes us three days to accelerate to the speed we need to, to leave the Earth's gravity, and then gently get into orbit around the moon. So you don't want to be going too fast. So three days is the answer. How can you become an astronaut? You know, what I like to tell people is to find something that you like, that you're interested in, and study it and become the best at it. And it really doesn't matter what it is because the space program needs all kinds of skills. There's no one path to become an astronaut, but they always pick people that are the best at what they do. So find something you like, something you love, and become the best. It's my favorite thing at the Kennedy Space Center.
You know, that's that's a tough one to answer because there are so many things there to see there. The latest attraction is the Heroes and Legends in the Astronaut Hall of Fame. The Saturn V that took people to the moon is on display there. People can go up and touch history and they can come there and watch history. So I guess the number one thing for me is going to be the Space Shuttle Atlantis display right here. And that's because that's the Space Shuttle that I flew my first mission on. So it's near and dear to my heart. 